Okay, it's Beard O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Weird Beard Brew Co. And it's a bottle of their Chinook. Described as a boring brown beer. It's part of this single hop series. It's number one in the series. Um, it's 7.2% ABV. There you go. And I want to get this one out. First of all, I want to show you the bottle cap. I love the artwork. I really do. I want to get it out into a glass because there's a hundred IBUs this beer. Fantastic smoky opening. Look at that. I want to get it into a glass because it's just gonna look at that, just saved him. I find it very interesting. There's a if you speak to a lager boy, if you offered a lager boy, and this is where I think this brewery is coming from by calling this a boring brown beer, it's brewed with American Chinook, the amazing hop that is Chinook, British malt, and they've got a yeast strain in here. I think it's American yeast as well. But how many times in your life, beer drinkers, have you offered a lager boy a beer? A brown beer. A boring brown beer. And they've gone, oh no, I'm not touching that, I'm not touching that. And this pays homage, if you like. This, this kind of says, forget about the colour. Forget about how the beer looks. Get into it. Not every beer in the world has to be golden and shiny and have a horrible kind of mass-produced head on the beer. Not every beer should taste the same. These mass-produced beers, they all taste the same. There's no variety, there's no different flavours. And that's because some people out there are cardboard cutouts. They'll watch an advert on the television and they will go, OK, yes, OK, I'm going to put my spacesuit on now and I'm going to wear I can't get into this nightclub because I've got my spacesuit on and I've got a pair of trainers on and I'm going to have to go and buy a pack of a, a pack of 24 lagers for £15. You all know where I'm coming from. Rant over. Beer in the glass. One finger. Tank coloured head. Loads of carbonation rising up the middle of the glass. It's a lovely colour. It's a nice kind of, it's not, it's not crystal clear. I don't want it to be crystal clear. I've, I've been drinking crystal clear beer all week. I want it to look like this. I want it to look kind of mesmerising and different. Let's get our noses into the beer. And that just smells fantastic, it really does. You've got a really nice bready malty backbone to the beer. And then you get this massive hop aroma that rushes up your nostrils. And you think, boy, that's grapefruity, that's, that's mango. That's, that's something I want to drink right now. And that's something I'm gonna do. Cheers, everybody. Wow, blimey, Christ on a bicycle, and it's still pulling, and it's it's pulling at the back of my tongue, my tongue, have you seen them, them cartoons, it, like Road Runner and stuff, or, or Tom and Jenny when his tongue rolls out of his mouth, that's exactly what I want to do, this is exactly what this beer makes me want to do, it makes me want to throw my tongue out like you've just eaten a big mouthful of Vindaloo curry. 
This beer is so fantastically bitter. It's so bitter, it's, it's almost frightening. If you offered this beer to a person who didn't understand what was in that glass, you would scare them, scare them away for life. This beer, for a seasoned craft beer drinker, is just a showcase. Ferrari, Porsche, Audi, Mercedes, they all push the boundaries. They all produce vehicles that, could, that can travel over 200 miles an hour. But certainly in most countries in the world, you couldn't do that. You couldn't, you, you're kind of restricted at 70. But they still build them to showcase them, to say, we can do it, even though you can't drive at them speeds. This is not a regular person's kind of beer. This is not, this is not something that your regular Joe Blogs, your, your, your kind of, your cardboard cut off man's going to enjoy. This is something else. And if you're in the UK and you can get this, I would buy this beer just to experience that hoppy bitterness. It is mental. <coughs> your palate, I'm struggling to speak now, but your palate cannot take any more than a hundred IBUs. Anymore, your your palate cannot kind of differentiate how many IBUs are in the beer. Anything over a hundred IBUs. This is again after eleven hundred and sixty-eight reviews. I think I've done now is another new experience for me, and I keep thinking to myself. Is there anything new out there for me to try? Is there anything different for me to kind of explore? And I keep, and sometimes by accident, because I just picked this up, because I know Weird Beard Brewing Company makes some fantastic beers. I just picked this up without reading the label. It's only when I sat down five minutes ago before the review to see, see what exactly we have here that I realized Wow, this is going to be, this is going to be a crazy experience. I think I've only ever gone up to 80, 90 IBUs, 100 IBUs. Mental. Oh. It, 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 it's like someone's pulled your tongue out your, your mouth and, and it's just gone bang with a knife and it's just gone straight and you're like, oh. It's, 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 it's just monstrous the flavour it's it's an experience that I wouldn't go to a pub on a daily basis and want to experience but at the same time I'm 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 excited I, I'm I'm kind of I get it I get the whole Ferrari 250 mile an hour supercar I get it even though I can't get to them speeds I get the fact that breweries can brew a 100 IBU beer. I get it. Um, flavour wise, I've not really kind of gone into the flavours because, because the IBUs, the bitterness just dominates. It's, it's, it's funny, it's, it's, it's like a, a licorice, a really strong licorice and a and, and a big kind of berry flavour and it, you can almost argue that there's, there's grapefruit and there's, there's lemon and all them other tropical flavours but it's gone past that, it's gone past that point. It's like drive, driving a Bugatti Veyron at, at whatever mile an hour it goes to. It, you, you're going that fast it becomes blurry. It's, it's that experience in, in, a, in a glass of beer. So for that reason, 
Oh, for that reason, not reasons, for that reason, Weird Beard Bruco Chinook, a boring brown beer, which is a very sarcastic way of saying, up yours, McLager boy, gets, just because it's made me happy, gets a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.